drought intensifies across our state. While some have picked up rain, more than half of the state is back of the drought map. And as Steve White reports tonight, some Sand Hills ranchers who bounced back from floods are now battling more extremes. All across Nebraska, farmers and ranchers could use a little rain. Uh, water came down from everywhere. The McNeil Ranch was underwater as Tom McNeil used a ranger to navigate the hills to get in and out. Well, you couldn't even get into the place up this driveway. You had to go around through the hills. Yeah, we pumped water for two years. Two years later, these sand hills aren't as vibrant as they'd normally be. No, it would be as green as Ireland, usually, but uh, we haven't had a rain for over 30 days. About all the cool season grasses have turned brown. He's not alone. Nearly two-thirds of Nebraska is now at least in the beginning stages of drought. That's better than the start of the year, but after improving, Boy, that looks dry. conditions are going back downhill. We did make up some of those deficits um, during the springtime, but that is, you know, the rains kind of have shut off on the large scale. We're getting some spotty shower activity, which is good and it's helpful for some areas, but it's not helping, you know, the widespread, you know, Nebraska overall. The state climatologist says June was two to six degrees warmer than normal, and that was noticed on this ranch. It just got way too hot too early too. Some farmers and ranchers did catch a little rain, but it hasn't been enough to turn things around. We need to see a consistent above normal precipitation conditions uh, in order for that to happen. And so, so hopefully these rainfalls will materialize as we go throughout the growing season. The start to that growing season brings back memories folks would rather forget. Since way back in 2012 or so, it's been this dry around here. That was the year flash drought spread quickly across Nebraska. While things could improve, at this point, the state climatologist says it's also possible we could go from one extreme to another, 2019's floods to another drought. Tom McNeil says he's expecting a decent hay crop and says guys might have to keep an eye on pastures and do some rotational grazing depending on conditions. While keeping an eye on the sky, hoping forecasts are wrong and they get some rain. Whatever we can get will be helpful.